What's going on my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters. I'm One Eyebrow, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead. Spoiler warning for The Walking Dead show, comics, all that stuff. If you're worried about spoilers, please stop watching. Now we're going to talk about comic stuff, what may happen in the back half of season 10, the first half of season 10, all those things. Again, spoiler warning. What did she say? We're going to talk about what Samantha Morton said about Alpha in the back half of season 10 coming up in about a month but first guys if you can show us some love by hitting that subscribe button we post videos every day about the walking dead the walking dead is on break but we are not we talk about it all year round hit the join button become a member and ring the bell to get notified when we post videos every day now per the walking dead universe spoilers samantha morton promises scariest episodes when the walking dead returns i was constantly shocked to read the scripts i always thought my God, how can this series get more surprising? It's more scary. And I'm not sure who Samantha Morton was talking to and where the interview was, but it's pretty cool to see that Samantha Morton is excited for the back half of season 10. Will Alpha survive is the big question. We're gonna talk about that very, very soon, but more scary? Good. The horror aspect, the scary aspect needs to come back to the show. I mean, the Whispers are a creepy, cool, different type of villain, but they're not scary. And I mean, if you just stay on your sides of the border, you'll be fine, right? The walkers, whispers, people dressed like walkers are what the whispers are. You just don't know who's a person and who's a walker. And I mean, I like it, I'm just not scared by it. The Walking Dead star Samantha Morton, who plays Whisperer Leader Alpha, says you just never know if the villainous story will play out as it did in creator Robert Kirkman's comic books. Alpha in season 10 is targeted by a vengeful Carol out to avenge murdered son Henry, a vendetta that did not exist in the source material. Because Alexandria fugitive Negan is now embedded within the Whispers, where he swore his supposed allegiance to Alpha, season 10 seems to be closing in on a comic book plot twist. But Morton warns not to get ahead of the story. Is it coming to an end? That's what you assume, Morton told Red Carpet News TV with a smile and a laugh when she was asked about if she fears Alpha's time on The Walking Dead might be ending. So we'll have to see, but it's kind of funny if she's like, you just never know. Well, you know. Did you make it to season 11? Did you make it to the rest of the season? You know what's going on with Alpha's story arc. Don't lie, Samantha Morton. Come on. But she can't tell us. And I personally think it's going to happen just like the comic book. I think Negan who's really the only one close to Alpha that's there. You know, maybe Lydia does, but I would assume Alpha and Negan bond in the back half of season 10. I had a whole video about this and the look of the blood on Negan's face. There's no way it was put there by accident. It looks like the Grim Reaper sickle, and I see it as foreshadowing that Negan is the one to take out Alpha, and it just makes sense. It's a big moment a huge moment in the comics, and I think it needs to happen on the show, and it will complete, or at least continue, Negan's redemption arc. Because the series frequently deviates from the source material, Carol's ex, King Ezekiel, survived Alpha's attack on the kingdom, unlike his comic book counterpart, you never know which direction the story might head. This is the thing about AMC and that world, and the comic book world. It's like you just don't know what they have in store. You don't know how people's stories are going to go, she said, because I just had We Are the End of the World was a flashback episode that I didn't know was coming up, and I was like, oh, wow, we get to go back to the past. So you just never know. In the books, the comic books, spoilers. Alpha is introduced in issue 132 and survives until issue 156, where she's taken out by a fugitive Negan. After a troublemaker accomplice breaks the ex-savior leader out of jail, Negan infiltrates the Whispers and gets close to Alpha, who lets her guard down in a rare showing of vulnerability. Negan then decapitates Alpha and gives her head to Rick Grimes to arrange his release from prison a deal contingent upon Negan fighting in the front lines of the Whisper of War, a conflict commanded by an enraged Beta, Alpha's most loyal follower. So the big question is, since Rick's not there, who does that part go to? Daryl or Carol? And I could see either side getting that story arc with Negan. But if Negan doesn't take out Alpha, what's gonna happen with Alpha? Could Alpha survive? For sure. Could Lydia take out Alpha? For sure. But to me, it makes the most sense that Negan is there. He pledged his loyal support to Alpha, which I believe was a lie. He confides in her. She confides in him. Alpha trusts Negan. And then bing bada boom, Negan takes out Alpha. Gamma is something just for the show that's not in the comics, so I wonder how that plays a part. 
Maybe that's connected with Negan going along with the story arc. Maybe Negan wants to be a whisper, but Gamma and Lydia and some sort of angle there pushes Negan over the limit, over the line to take out Alpha. Maybe that's why he does it. We'll have to see how it goes down and if it goes down, but I personally believe that Negan takes out Alpha. Despite Morton's denial, TV show Negan might still have this kill in the bag, especially if the so far unidentified culprit who released him from jail turns out to be Carol or Daryl. We're also inspired by the comics, showrunner Angela Kang said during last year's Paley Fest when explaining comic book changes. Kirkman is such a master of the page turner, you read it and it's like a juicy, juicy, just fun comic book to read. There's so many wonderful, iconic moments in the comics. Moments you get to and just say, oh my god, I can't believe he just did that. I have to see this on screen. As writers, as with any fans of the comics, we have those same responses. But with the show, we have such a different array of characters and such different circumstances that it's never going to be exactly the comic, nor it should be. It's a different medium. Instead of adapting material page for page and word for word, Kang explained, what's really fun is to go, here's that amazing moment in the comic and here's how it made us feel. Now, how do we capture that feeling, even if the way you get to it is not literally the same way that the comic book got to it? So... Basically what they're saying is the show is the show and the comic is the comic and it's basically that remixes and twists and turns happen. But big moments have happened on the show that have happened in the comics. So many things have happened. Now, that being said, you have a lot of differences for the show, such as major characters just being for the show. And I like the differences. But who else could take out Alpha? I mean, I guess Alpha could survive. The only people that could take out Alpha, in my opinion, are Negan, Gamma, and I guess Lydia. And I guess Beta as well, but I don't see that happening. Beta is a loyal Alpha supporter and he's there to do anything for her. But Alpha's gonna let her guard down and I think Negan takes her out. I could see it happening. If Negan takes out Alpha, he says the iconic line, wait till Rick gets a look at you, but it's remixed for wait till Daryl gets a look at you or wait till Carol gets a look at you. When Negan takes Alpha back to Alexandria, after Negan takes out Alpha. It just makes sense that happens for the show. So it's the same thing, it's just remixed a little bit. And the show is the show and the comic is the comic. In the comic, Ezekiel died in the Pike lineup. Carol didn't make it nearly this far. She was a far different character on the show. And I'm glad. Father Gabriel dies in the Whisper of War in the comics. Does that happen on the show? Rosita and Ezekiel die both in the Pike lineup. So what happens with it? And I guess the big question is, what happens with Negan? What happens with Lydia? How could Negan not take out Alpha? What's he gonna do? Just be a whisper? Is he really gonna attack Hilltop? Alexandria? We'll just have to wait and see. But what did she say? A bunch of things in different interviews. So definitely photo credit, info credit to all the fine folks where we got this information from. I'm excited to find out what's gonna happen with Carol, Daryl, Alpha, Beta, Lydia, everybody and the Whisper of War. And we're getting closer and closer guys. February 23rd is rapidly approaching. It'll be here before you know it. So let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Who do you think takes that alpha? Does she die? Does she survive? I can't wait to find out. And thank you guys for watching. And for those interested in my zombie apocalypse book series, I have 11 books now. Check out the link in the description. I hope you join the fight and pick up your copy today. Fight for us and tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.